as the year is coming to an end, now is the time to look back at some of the fascinating TV shows that we have enjoyed this year. On one hand, there are some big names like House of the Dragon and The Rings of Power, while on the other hand, horror fans and sci-fi nerds were treated by some classics. Some shows like Westworld and Stranger Things came up with their new seasons, and others started off something that hopefully brings about some follow-up soon. In this video, we will focus on some of the best horror and sci-fi TV shows that came our way, and you ought to check them out before stepping into the new year. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. What the hell? Yeah. All of us are dead. Sometimes the simplest of plots can end up producing the most entertaining shows, as this South Korean zombie apocalypse drama proved this year. It starts off at a local high school with a failed experiment that brings about a terrifying zombie outbreak. One of the students gets infected by an unknown virus that turns humans into zombies, and soon the infection starts to spread rapidly. Now, the students must fend for themselves because the government has cut off all communication to contain the zone. They are without food, water or proper weapons for that matter. And as the school starts to get overrun by zombies, the survivors must find a way as the infection spreads outside the school and threatens the whole region. Region. It is fascinating how a subject that has been beaten to death over the years can be recycled to produce such a thrilling horror series. It is based on a webtoon by the same name and the recreated content retains all the sparks that were present in the original. The mayhem unfolds pretty quickly and soon you have non-stop action with a well-paced narrative that keeps you on the edge of your seats the whole time. The origin of the zombie outbreak does have an outrageous story, but you wouldn't care much for logic when the show offers such unlimited entertainment. The characters are an interesting mix. And even though some of the actors weren't the best, it hardly impacts the narrative. The conscious half-zombies are an interesting concept that the story played with. And before you know it, the 12 episodes are over. South Korean zombie dramas don't get a good reputation for nothing. And if you haven't watched this show, you're missing out on one of the finest zombie series in recent times. Maybe. Please, just... Maybe I can come in? There we go! From... Welcome to the mysterious town surrounded by a forest. Oh, and there is one weird thing about this town. No one can ever get out. We were immediately sold by the creepy concept and when we decided to go ahead and try it, it proved to be a wonderful gamble. Anyone entering this nightmarish place is trapped forever and the residents simply try to maintain some kind of normalcy amidst this reign of terror. Soon, a few shocking revelations pave the way for the dangerous creatures lurking around the surrounding forests. When the sun goes down, one needs plenty of luck and prayers to survive the horrors of this town. Are you game for trying out what living in this place looks like? There are stories that give you a few sleepless nights, there are stories that are disturbing enough to unsettle your well-being, and then there is From, a show that truly haunts the viewers from the very first episode. The slow-burning horror series used the first couple of episodes to lay out the backstory and then begins the constant narrative with twists and shocks. The creatures are easily one of the highlights of the show and these terrifying beasts need to consume a lot of flesh which comes from those living in the town. From utilizes the fear of the unknown to weave its magic and the storyline gets a big helping hand from some extremely talented actors in the mix of things. The likes of Scott McCord, Eon Bailey, David Alpe and Harold Perrineau do not disappoint and even the special effects deserve a word of appreciation. It has to be one of the most underrated shows of the year and if you are a sucker for strange supernatural mysteries like we are, you simply cannot miss out on this one. baby. Natasha is a frustrated 38-year-old woman who feels like she's missing out on some quality family time. Most of her friends are having babies and she desperately wants one of her own. However, her prayers are answered in the most twisted ways when she finds herself with a baby of her own out of nowhere. Besides these sudden developments, her life takes a complete U-turn after the arrival of this baby, which seems to have a strange amount of control in the course of her life. As a regular life becomes a bizarre horror show, you start wondering where the baby came from and what is its true purpose. Well, you will get some of your answers in this intriguing series, so waste no time in checking it out. The baby has met with some mixed reviews, but you have to admit that the plot is simply insane. 
After the haunting premise is well established, the story takes a backseat for a couple of episodes before springing back in action in the final ones. However, the narrative is planned like a tricky jigsaw puzzle and you will love it when you manage to place the pieces together. Apart from the brilliant storytelling, the morbidly funny dialogues and incidents add to the entertainment value of the show. There are a couple of jump scares as well, but the show doesn't really rely on scaring the life out of you. The quirky and creepy narrative is helped by some incredible acting and Michelle the Swat steals the show as the female lead. If a genuinely well-written horror comedy tickles your funny bones, the baby should be right up there on your watch list. I don't want to, Sam. What I want is for you to call 911 and turn yourself in. You have to turn yourself in or I will do it! Just bless your mom. The Patient Alan is a famous psychotherapist and he is grieving the recent death of his wife. Moreover, his overly religious son Ezra has an estranged relationship with him and Alan is struggling with life before things take a turn for the worse. He is held captive by a man named Sam Fortner who claims to be an infamous serial killer. However, he seeks help from Alan and wants to stop his uncontrollable murderous urges through therapy. If Alan has to survive the murderous psychopath, he must oblige to his demands and he tries to talk him out of his disturbed mind. But Sam is rather uptight and he refuses to share details about some touchy topics such as his life with his mother. It becomes a situation where failure to heal Sam means certain death for Alan and you have to watch the show to find out how it unfolds. We are simple people. We see Steve Carell as one of the leads in her show and we immediately decide to watch it. The Patient has been a truly enriching experience because there aren't too many times that you get to see the legendary actor in such a role. Donald Gleeson is equally terrific as the serial killer and simply for the acting performances alone, this show deserves your attention. The story is promising and compelling and there are some surprisingly emotional depths that have been explored in this show. There are some extensive metaphorical interactions and kudos to the screenwriter for getting it all together. The thrilling psychodrama thrives on the subplots that give context to the main story and initially, many viewers were turned off by the small episodes after a long waiting period. Of course, now you can binge watch the whole thing and we strongly recommend that you check out this unique storytelling. You're not the only one who's evolved. Lost World Season 4 This sci-fi series is premised on a dystopian world and it gained quite a bit of attention from the fans for its unique concept. The fourth season premiered this year and as the final season of the series there were a lot of expectations for a proper closure. Westworld did not disappoint and it explored further events in the disturbing aftermath of artificial consciousness. Westworld is basically an amusement park which is looked after by robotic hosts. The rich vacationers can experience their fantasies in this park, no matter how twisted those fantasies may be. However, when some of the robotic hosts develop a consciousness, the line between machines and humans blurs. Consequent seasons added to the mysterious events and the final season this year gives you a lot of answers that you have been seeking. Now, it has been officially announced that there will be no season 5 and it might be a good time to go back and revisit this exciting narrative. While the entire package was a commendable effort, the first season really steals the show with a thundering announcement. The story is something that people couldn't imagine in their worst nightmares and it started off with a lot of promise. The second and third seasons did slow things down considerably and some of the story arcs that were being followed did not evoke the same kind of interest, but the fourth season redeems the show in some form. The production value of Westworld is phenomenal and it always looks like a typical big budget show with the perfect surroundings created for the narrative. Season 4 comes up with some major revelations but we have to admit that a few questions still remained unanswered. The show benefits considerably from some exceptional acting performances. Anthony Hopkins, Jeffrey Wright, Ed Harris and Evan Rachel Woods are phenomenal in their respective roles and things only get better with a star-studded supporting cast. Overall, this is a show that you must consider if you have a taste for dystopian sci-fi concepts and even with an abrupt cancellation of the fifth season, it still makes for a fairly complete story. Stranger Things Season 4 This show has been one of the most popular Netflix series of all time and the craze behind Stranger Things only increased after the release of the fourth season this year. The story is set in a fictional town in the 1980s and the story follows the abduction of Will Byers as the investigation throws up strange mysteries. It is revealed that a nearby facility works on secret government programs and they have managed to create a portal to an alternate dimension called the Upside Down. 
The second season shows Will being rescued, but it is soon learned that the boy is possessed by a strange entity from the other dimension. This year's addition to the lore was talked about for Vecna, the terrifying entity that starts killing the residents of the town. Is there a way to stop Vecna before it's too late? If you try to analyze the massive popularity of the show, you will come across some crucial factors. Firstly, Stranger Things explores the magic of the 80s, which includes everything from the atmosphere to the characters. Secondly, the writing is outstanding and the direction perfectly holds the story together despite all the subplots. To add to that, you will get to witness some really great acting in the show from the likes of Millie Bobby Brown, Finn Wolfhard, Winona Ryder and others. The children in leading roles steal the show and they manage to pull off the unique mix of horror and comedy in the show. The narrative has a strong influence of the works of Steven Spielberg and Stephen King and the horror and sci-fi fans certainly aren't complaining. Unlike many shows that fizzle out after the initial promise, Stranger Things managed to hold the audience together and after a remarkable fourth season, everyone is now geared up for the next edition. If you haven't watched the show already, do check it out and you will understand what the hype is all about. I will be unable to access my personal memories whilst on the severed floor. Say gratitude. Severance. What if your memories could be classified and separated completely? Yes. As much as you would love to forget all about your ex, you can imagine the sheer confusion this would result in. Severance banks on this impossible technology as the sci-fi drama tells the story of a bizarre workplace. Le Mans Industries is a reputed organization, but some of the employees go through a severance program which completely separates their work memories from their non-work memories. When one of the employees named Mark uncovers some conspiracies, a few dirty secrets spill out and things take a nasty turn. If you are intrigued to learn more about what happens next, you have to check out this mind-blowing psychological sci-fi thriller. The finesse of the storytelling will get you invested in the show right from the word go. It is an absolute masterpiece that might go down as one of the classics in the future. The subject is completely original and a great script is just the cherry on top. There are some episodes that progress relatively slowly but even then the excitement levels do not drop. It is one of those slow burners that you will remember for a long time. The acting performances are quite impressive and we really do not have a single negative thing to say about the show. There is some good news for those who love the show because Apple TV Plus has formally announced that the second season has gone into production. Some new characters will be added to the cast and some big names have been roped in to play the roles. Do catch up with the show in time for the grand season 2 and Severance will not disappoint you. <laughs> Cabinet of Curiosities We have a special place in our hearts for horror anthologies and if Guillermo del Toro is the man in charge, we make it a top priority item on our watch list. Cabinet of Curiosities was a pleasant surprise presented by the horror maestro who led a team of talented directors to bring you eight terrorizing tales. You have a grave robber who ends up being feasted on by the rat monster underneath the ground. Another story is about a twisted artist who paints the darkest of entities that come back through his paintings. There are a couple of Lovecraftian tales like Dreams in the Witch House and a couple of original stories that make for a fun, nerve-wracking viewing. One of the first things that you will notice about this show is its high-end production values. Cabinet of Curiosities did not have the highest budget, but you will not find too many flaws with the final product that you see on screen. Our favorite episodes would have to be Dreams in the Witch House, Pickman's Model, Lot 36 and Graveyard Rats. Some of the stories are truly scary, while others bank more on the funny side of things. However, all the episodes are thorough entertainers that can be best enjoyed over a couple of beers. The diverse selection of themes works well for the series, but a few episodes could have avoided the cliched storylines. The only complaint that we have is that the expectations was probably a notch higher because of the Guillermo del Toro association. But you can't really get an anthology with 8 equally perfect episodes, can you? If you are a fan of horror anthologies and don't mind a few campy stories along the way, this will be 8 hours of unadulterated entertainment. Hello? Raised by wolves. In this futuristic plot, the earth has been ravaged by religious differences and the disastrous conflicts have pushed the human race to extinction. In the hour of Earth's greatest crisis, an android architect comes to the rescue as he develops two unique robots called Mother and Father. 
These androids are charged with the future of human existence as they have to raise human children on a distant planet named Kepler 22b, where they would grow up in a godless colony to avoid future conflicts. However, the task gets increasingly complicated with new threats arriving on the planet, and managing the fiercely self determining children is not as easy as it may seem. After an intriguing first season back in 2020, the second season released this year, and things only got better. When Ridley Scott is the executive producer of a sci-fi series, you can be assured that the content is promising. Raised by Wolves raises the bar for new age sci-fi shows and comes up with a really clever storyline that covers everything from advanced technology to the basic problems of humanity. The writing and directing add value to the concept and you will be left stunned by the incredible cinematography in the show. This dystopian futuristic drama is also enhanced by some great work in the special effects department and the visuals of the series are worth every penny spent by the makers. The casting is just as perfect as everything else and Amanda Collins truly owns the screen with her impactful presence. It is extremely unfortunate that such a terrific show got cancelled simply because it was becoming too expensive to continue. However, if you find the sci-fi genre appealing, Raised by Wolves is a must-watch series that will be remembered for times to come. Chucky Season 2 Most horror fans are familiar with the antics of the terrifying doll Chucky, and the new TV series served as a sequel to Cult of Chucky, which was the seventh film in the franchise. The narrative follows Chuck's murderous spree as he haunts a quiet town. It all starts after Jake Wheeler, a 14-year-old, buys a good guy doll from a yard sale. He soon finds out that the innocuous little doll is actually possessed by the spirit of a notorious serial killer and the murders in his locality see a sharp spike. What is special about this TV series is how it also explores the backstory of the serial killer before he became one of the most dreaded murderers in the country. Season 2 released this year and the storyline continued to be just as interesting as it started. It is always wonderful to have Chucky back because horror enthusiasts have some fond memories of this iconic franchise. The old story gets a fresh perspective and what fans will appreciate is how the series tries to stay true to the spirit of the original movies. There is a decent amount of horror to keep you interested and some fun bits are nicely balanced throughout the narrative. The special effects team deserves a pat on the back for some of the scenes and from the looks of season 2, we might just have another season to follow. It doesn't get much better than Brad Dourif being the voice of Chucky and the veteran actor continues to haunt and impress the fans with his performance. Even other cast members such as Zachary Arthur and Jennifer Tilly have done a wonderful job. Overall, it is an old cookie in a new package and this series might be the perfect comeback stage for one of the finest horror villains of all time. Archive 81 Creepy cults always hold a special place in the horror genre and Archive 81 unlocks these old fears with a terrifying story. It all starts off with an archivist named Dan Turner taking up a job to restore a collection of damaged tapes that date back to 1994. However, as he proceeds further and further, reworking the damaged videotapes, he starts to put together the work of a documentary filmmaker named Melody Pendras. It seems like she was discovering a dangerous cult back in the day, and Dan realizes that the horrors of the investigation might be far from over. The filmmaker is now missing and assumed dead, but Dan starts believing that he might be able to save her. Yes, the storyline is weird, and there can really be no debate over that, but it is the right kind of weird that makes you interested in a show. The narrative manages to blend several genres, such as sci-fi, thriller, and horror, and the diversity in the storytelling never makes things monotonous. The occult undertones in the story are genuinely scary and there are some creepy moments that will send a few shivers down your spine. Archive 81 is helped by a rock-solid cast and the actors' performances only add to the charm of the series. The show was unfortunate enough to get some harsh reviews but maybe the disappointment came from fans who couldn't appreciate the subtle storytelling. The intensity of the plot can only be felt with patience. We feel that Netflix might have cancelled the show somewhat prematurely because Archive 81 probably deserved a longer run. However, it is what it is and you can still enjoy the solitary season of this promising supernatural drama for some genuine thrills. Krakow Monsters This Polish supernatural thriller might take you by surprise because it has been one of the most underrated shows of the year. The story revolves around a medical student named Alex, 
who joins a research team led by a professor. The group has some of the finest students, but she soon realizes that the research team is actually involved with things that aren't comprehensible to the rational mind. They investigate various supernatural activities and their fight against evil forces brings about encounters with ancient monsters and vicious deities. As it turns out, the world of slavic beliefs and mythological creatures might have some truth in it. To add to these mysteries, there are certain things about Alex's past that make things all the more interesting. Cracker Monsters is a fairly dark series that dares to delve into a genre that often doesn't get the appreciation it deserves. The narrative doesn't feel rushed at any point and the city of Krakow provides the perfect backdrop for the story. We love the references to local mythology and the narrative manages to bind some interesting characters to the lore. Another thing that you will appreciate about the show is the ambience they manage to create. The special effects are top-notch as well and the final product is a visual delight, especially for the fans of creature horror. However, there are a few shortcomings that probably stop the show from becoming one of the most memorable ones this year. The execution could have been better and there are a few loopholes that stand out. Also, the English subtitles do not do justice to the original dialogues at all times and that can be a bummer. We are definitely rooting for the second season of Krakow Monsters and if you watch it without any preconceived bias, you will understand why. We cannot sign off without some honourable mentions. While Evil Dead didn't do wonders with the fans and critics, some still enjoyed the show. Others like Season 3 of Evil, The Girl in the Mirror, Halo and Servant also deserve a special mention. Do let us know in the comments below about your favourites from our list and feel free to tell us about the ones that you feel we should have included in the top 12. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.